Forms of Business Ownership There are four forms of business ownership, sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation and cooperative. Entrepreneurs must decide on the legal form of ownership of the business. A. The sole proprietorship, a business that is owned and operated by one person, but is not a separate legal entity. 1. Advantages of a sole proprietorship, the sole proprietor makes all business decisions, the business is easy to form, and there are tax benefits, losses incurred in the startup phase can be deducted against other personal income on the proprietor's personal tax return. 2. Disadvantages of a sole proprietorship, unlimited liability, the proprietor is personally responsible for all of the debts of the business, the business ceases to exist when the owner dies, dependent on the financial and managerial resources of the sole owner, and may be difficult to borrow money. b. The partnership, two or more individuals agree to own and operate the business. A partnership is not a separate legal entity and each partner is taxed individually on his or her share of partnership profits. General partners are individuals who are actively involved in managing the firm, with unlimited liability for debts of the partnership. In a general partnership, all partners are liable individually for all the debts of the partnership. Limited partners are partners who do not participate in running the firm and whose liability is limited to the amount invested in the partnership. Every limited partnership must have at least one general partner. 1. Advantages of a partnership, ability to grow by adding talent and money, easier to borrow funds, simple to organize. 2. Disadvantages of a partnership, unlimited liability, each partner is personally responsible for all of the partnership's debts. Even if a partner incurred the debt without the other partner's knowledge, lack of continuity, when one partner leaves or dies, the partnership ceases to exist, difficult to transfer ownership, as the remaining partners must all agree to the admission of the new partner, and if the partnership agreement states that all partners have an equal share in the partnership, it may be challenging to solve disagreements. C. The corporation a separate legal entity that has the ability to own assets and incur liabilities, and whose owner's liability is limited to their investment in the corporation's shares. Very large and very small businesses may be incorporated. Formation of the corporation, federal incorporation under the Canada Business Corporations Act is required for corporations intending to operate in more than one province. Provincial incorporation under the relevant provinces Business Corporations Act is sufficient if the corporation intends to operate in only one province. Articles of incorporation must be drawn up and filed to register the corporation. Information included in the Articles of Incorporation is described. Limited, incorporated, or corporation must be included in the company name to communicate the limited liability of the shareholders. Types of corporations. There are two types of business corporations public corporations, shares are widely held and offered for sale to the general public, and private corporations, shares are held by only a few shareholders, and restrictions often exist on the sale of share. Most new corporations start as private corporations as individuals are not willing to invest in unknown businesses. The initial public offering, IPO, is the first sale of shares to the general public, which transitions a private corporation into a public corporation. Private equity firms buy publicly traded corporations and take them private. Income trusts distribute most or all of their earnings to investors. Stockholders are the owners of the corporation who receive shares or stocks in the corporation in return for their investment. The board of directors is the governing body of the corporation which sets policies for the business and delegates the management of the business to the executives it hires. Inside directors are members of the board of directors that also work for the company in top management. Outside directors are members of the board of directors that are not employed by the business. 3. Advantages of incorporation, limited liability of shareholders, corporation can live forever, easy to sell shares or bequeath to heirs and advantage in raising funds through the sale of stock. 4. Disadvantages of incorporation, 
cost of incorporation is high, much more heavily regulated than proprietorships and partnerships, double taxation, both the corporation and the shareholder pay tax on the income, as dividends are not deductible from income, but the dividend tax credit largely offsets the corporate tax paid. d. The cooperative, an incorporated entity that is organized, owned and democratically controlled by the people who use its products and services, and whose earnings are distributed on the basis of their use of the cooperative, rather than their investment. Each member has one vote, regardless of number of shares he or she owns. 1. Advantages of a cooperative, limited liability of members, cooperative can live forever, structure of one vote per member prevents voting and financial control by a few wealthy individuals, and a cooperative does not pay tax on income it distributes to its members. 2. Disadvantages of a cooperative, difficult to attract investment as benefits to members come from use, not return on investment, some entrepreneurs are not interested in the cooperative form of organization. Here is a summary of the difference between the four forms of business organization.